Doing it again. Doing it again. They're doing it again, but why are we surprised? Keith Lee already feels different. It's because already they have changed his entrance music and his ring attire. Already. I get it. He gets Randy Orton at payback. Great. That actually is. That's 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 fantastic. But if, did you hear his entrance music? It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. All they kept was the Limitless at the beginning. That's it. They got rid of everything that he rapped because he rapped in his original and his original was really good and unique. Gone. <clears throat> Gone. And the reasoning for that, Keith Lee tweeted and said he has no control over his music at all. So there's that. But it's because uh, the WWE has had a falling out with CFO Money and they don't want... And CFO Money was a group that made most of the WWE themes, including Keith Lee's. So, because they're having a falling out, WWE does not want to use their music, if possible. There have been some wrestlers who have refused to give up their mu their theme music. So, and apparently Keith Lee's not one of them. He signed off on it. But they, I have heard that at Payback, his theme should be different. Should be something new. It shouldn't be the generic shit we heard uh, on Raw. So there is that. Hopefully uh, that rumor is true and he will have new music Sunday at Payback. That will make me feel a hell of a lot better about his chances at survival in the in the company on the main roster before he becomes a damn jobber. With jobber music means you're a jobber. And also, his, um, his ring attire is different. He now wears a vest while wrestling. He used to wear that vest maybe to come out to the ring, but take it off take it off to wrestle. That is gone, and we all know why. Vince McMahon has always had a problem with his baby faces not having six packs. You know what I mean? He wants their bodies to look like Drew McIntyre or Randy Orton or John Cena. He doesn't want them to look like Keith Lee or Otis. The reason Otis gets to wrestle without his shirt on is because he's a comedic character. That's it. Vince thinks it's funny to see the fat man do cartwheels and the worm. That's why. Keith Lee better not be ever become a comedic only character. So, since Vince doesn't find him a comedic character, he's telling a big man, put on a shirt when you wrestle. We don't want to see that. That's what it is. That's what it is. And I hate that because I saw Keith Lee without a shirt had a unique look. He wasn't, he's not a big blob. It's not Viscera. He didn't look like that. You know what I mean? He didn't look like Rikishi. The man, you can tell, is t like in good shape. He's just big. Big as all hell. So, whatever. Whatever. I just don't like immediately changes. And that, that, that doesn't scream, that doesn't help my confidence. They kind of fail with all NXT call-ups anyway. The last thing you want is immediate changes. Uh, the first night they're in the company. Like, damn. I don't want him to go from limitless Keith Lee to limited Keith Lee. We don't want that. And it's starting to feel like they might go in that direction. And by some of the tweets Keith Lee was saying, he sounded kind of uh, kind of like a dick a little bit, I'll be honest, to some of the fans that were saying his music stinks. He was telling them to be patient. He has no control over it. And saying uh, his ring attire sucks. He said the same thing. Be patient. He'll handle it. But the way he was saying it did come off a little rough. It did. Like when I read it, I was like, oof, that was a little rough. Even the fans that were defending him, he still came off kind of abrasive, which I don't, I think he's a great guy. He, everything I've seen, the interviews and stuff, he seems like a hell of a guy. I think he's just kind of irritated. Not with the fans, but with the company for making these changes. I think he's more irritated than we are, and that's why he's kind of being abrasive when on the topic. Because he's probably pretty pissed off about it. Probably pretty pissed off. And I would be too. Now, when it comes to payback, let's be honest. We probably all want Keith Lee to win, and that'd be a huge win, the biggest win of his career, obviously. But if they're continuing Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton, which it looks like they are, Randy Orton does kind of still need to look like a huge monster. He just does. So the best... I can say, and I'm going to release predictions in a couple days. I wanna, I'm trying to wait till after SmackDown because there's got to be more to the cards than just this. It's only one week build, but 
The best we can hope for is Keith Lee lose but look great. Like dominate most of the match. Have like a real battle of two titans in the wrestling world. And then he eats an RKO out of nowhere. There you go. One, two, three. Oops, it happens. Orton can even cheat a little. That's okay. That's okay. Have the ref turn the ref around, low blow him, RKO out of nowhere. Something like that. Just I don't want it to be super clean where it hurts Keith Lee, but at the same time, Randy does need to still look like a monster. They also could have Drew McIntyre come out and do a distra- distraction, which causes Keith to actually win. But I don't know. Keith winning unclean doesn't really help him that much. I'd rather see him lose a war than win with the help of his buddy, Drew McIntyre. It, You know what I mean? Eh. But they could do that. They do this all the time, and it always makes baby faces look kind of ah, meh. And I don't want that for Keith Lee. I love Keith Lee. Keith, you're the fucking man. Let me know what you guys thought about his new entrance music. Did you guys even notice that it was different? I didn't notice immediately. I just knew... I, I didn't know it was him coming out at first because it sounded different. I was like, I heard Limitless, but when it dropped, I was like, what the hell is going on? But anyway, let me know what you guys thought. More coming soon. Payback predictions. We also need to talk about NXT. NXT's gone up in flames. It's all it's craziness right now. Chomp is back. So the title's up for grabs in a fatal four-way Iron Man match. That's going to be crazy good. I can't wait for that. If you are still here, you are a real one.